Okay, so here's an interesting one. Somebody asked a question. They asked, I want to play the drum kit designer kits in Logic from my V-drums. I want to leave the MIDI notes on my V-drums alone. I want to leave them on their defaults, but I want to be able to change which drums the different pads on my V-drum kit play on the drum kit designer. How do I do that? OK, well, I've had a little mess around, and this is the best way to do it. I've got a project here, a new project, with an instrument track. Go to the drum kits. We're going to choose a producer kit, which gives us separate outs, so we can mix really as deep as we want. And with the producer patch kits, we get full access to all the drum editing, so we can mix and match all the different kicks, all the different snares, all the different toms, cymbal sets, etc. to any custom kits we want. Now, bear in mind, these producer patch kits in the library, these are a combination of a mix and the kit that loads all together. So don't choose something like the Motown kit, okay, or something that loads up a very complex mix. The best kit to load is the SoCal Plus kit, which loads a very simple mix we can change the kit any time we want after that. Okay, so load the SoCal kit plus that one, SoCal plus. And there it is. Now it's a summing track stack. Okay, all these producer patch kits are summing track stacks. And let's just close that typing. If we look in the mixer, these producer patch kits, everything in the drum mix is rooted to a group bus. And the summing track stack track is the track for the group bus. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this summing track stack track header track. Okay, to do that we right click on it and flatten the stack. Now that will get rid of this track stack header track, but it won't get rid of its channel in the mix of the group bus. The group bus will simply be moved down the other end of the mix, right? So there's that track right click on it, flatten the stack. That gets rid of the track, stack header track. The group bus moves down here to the other end of the mixer, but everything in our drum mix, all the separate outs are still rooted to this group bus. And then from here, that goes off to the final output. Okay, right. Okay, now you wanna be in preferences advanced and you want to tick this advanced MIDI okay and well, when that advanced MIDI is ticked if you then go to the window menu you'll see open MIDI environment okay well let's just make some space first I'm going to drag this up like that okay and then we don't need the library anymore okay so we go window open MIDI environment the environment opens. Now it might not look like that shape, it might be more like that. And if it doesn't show the mixer, go here and choose mixer. Okay, and drag it out so you can see the channels. Okay, here's your output to master. Drag those across away. Up this end, drag the pre-listen, just keep dragging it to the left like that, get it out of the way. Drag the click across with it like that out of the way. Okay. And now what we've got is, this is the group bus channel, so drop that down. Okay, and with it selected, go here. Okay, and rename that group. That's your group bus. And everything in the drum mix, all the separate outs are rooted to this group bus, and then off to the output. Right? Now this is the overheads channel, drop that down so it's easy to identify. Now this is the overheads left right mics which are part of your drum mix but this channel also has the actual instrument on it there look where it says IO. Double click that's how you open the instrument. Okay just there that. All right. Okay so let's make a bit of order. Bring that across a bit like that. All we want to see is these drum channels, the group bus, 
and the output like that. something like that there okay <clears throat> now what we do is this we go to the environment menu new which is new mapped instrument this pops up move that out of the way and you'll see this mapped instrument icon okay it drag its cable and plug it into the overheads channel like that this pops up choose don't remove okay and now this mapped instrument has been plugged into the first channel here the overheads which has the actual instrument on it so we've plugged the mapped instrument into our drum kit designer instrument right. and this is the mapping now what we do now is we go to the track column here make a new track an external MIDI track just drag it up to the top like that okay right click on it come on right click reassign it to the mixer mapped instrument okay and now this track the mapped instrument is rooted to the drum kit designer kit because this channel has the drum kit designer kit instrument on it okay now I'm going to bring in the um, musical typing like that and if I change the LCD display here to custom we can see the MIDI in indicator now I don't have any drum pads plugged in but this musical typing sends actual MIDI notes into the MIDI input of logic look C1 C sharp 1 D1 etc okay so what's happening is the MIDI notes are coming into this selected mapped instrument track, routing through to the drum kit designer through this map, because this is the mapped instrument map. Okay, let's look at this now. The bottom octaves are MIDI notes on the mapping map the upper octaves are MIDI notes but in the middle the middle octaves are general MIDI drum names so what you do is you go to the top name there hold down shift and just while you hold it down shift drag right down to the bottom name like that that highlights all the named general MIDI notes okay they're named as general MIDI drums and then set them to name as note okay now this input column is your MIDI notes for your V drum pads okay so if I choose C1 there okay I don't know if I can drag these wider I can't okay there's C this this column is the input notes these are the notes coming from the V drums and next to each one is the output note so at the moment the C1 V dr the C drum in the C1 incoming note is triggering the same outgoing note they're all triggering the same note but what I can do is I can change the out note to any drum I want so now the incoming C1 note is triggering the cowbell See C1 up there, the incoming note there, look. Right, there's my C1 incoming note, change it. Now it's triggering the tom. Now the mid tom. Now the low tom. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hang on. Now the low tom. Okay, so the out note sets the out note for every in note from coming for your drum pads triggers chooses which drum you're triggering and you get the luxury of hearing them as you change the notes so I'll put it back to triggering the C1 kick again okay and that's how you map okay, let's just move this into that gap there okay got a nice little layout okay now to edit your kit you just go to this channel here 
double click on the instrument slot there, open the instrument. You can choose the core kits, these are the core producer patch kits. Everything in the library is made from these kits. So I could go with the um, stadium kit and then I can choose any kicks that I want, any tom set that I want, any snare, any ride, any cymbal set and any hi-hat. And you've got all the stuff here to do the tuning and muting, dampening rather, tuning, dampening, the gain, etc, etc, the cymbals. You can tune, dampen them and set their gain individually. Same with the ride, same with the three toms, etc. Okay. So if you want to know all about how all this works and how the leak, the overheads and the room mics A and B work, go and look at the other video. Um, I did a series of four videos about the drum kit designer and the drummer tracks. Just look at the ones about the actual drum kit designer. I show and explain everything about how these extra channels work. Okay. So you build your kit, assign the drums you want to the different extra outs, the room mics, overheads, the leak, etc. Right. And these are the channels. Okay, this one, which the mapped instrument is attached to, this is always the overheads, the overhead mics, but it also has the instrument on it. Then you've got the kick in and outside mic, snare top and bottom, hats, your three toms. These are your two room mics, one stereo, one's mono. That's your leak channel, which is like a close ambient mic, which gives you a live ambient resonating sound of the kit. Different drums can be switched into these. Okay, and then you've got your three percussion instruments. This punch one, this is just a leftover from when we loaded the original kit. This is a, an auxiliary return um, with some effects on to add extra punch. And at the moment, only the kick is sending out into it, so you can turn that off. You don't need that, just leave it there. But everything, the overheads and all the separate outs, including the mics for the rooms and the leak, are all routed to this group bus and then off to the output. Change your kit here, change your core kit, edit it, get it how you want. And you can you can mix it here on the outputs here. Or if you want you can mix it on the mixer here. Okay. And if you want a completely separate mixer to mix on, then you just press the number two key on your keyboard which brings up the second screen set see the one up there we're looking at the first screen set here that's the layout so press the two key it switches to the number two screen set look oh, number one screen set is my original layout I just built number two screen set and on this screen we can um, bring in the window mixer okay once you brought that in you can close that one and you can have a full size mixer like that to mix on. Make it wider, <coughs> like that. You can do all your mix here. There's all your outs. Okay, ignore that one. That's the MIDI mapped instrument channel. Okay. There's the overheads, the kick mics, the snare mics, the hats, toms, the two room mics, the leak mic, the three percussion instruments that's that auxiliary we're not using with the punch thing you know and that's so everything in our drum mix is rooted to that group bus alright so if you wanted to you could colour all these differently just do alt c to bring up the colours and colour them all orange or something and <coughs> you know that's your kit okay and this extra punch channel I'll just rename it with a row of lines like that so I just ignore that that's my group there's my outputs now as you let's go back to screen set one by pressing the one key okay as you change your kits let's say I change to modern maple kit the overhead channel here gets titled the same as the name of the kit look 
modern maple kit but this is always the overheads output okay and back in screen set 2 our mixer it's now called look modern maple kit but that's the overheads stereo overheads and there again is the drum kit you can open it there as well okay back to screen set 1 there you go and now you save this as a project and you can load this anytime map your drums here these are the incoming notes these are which notes they're outgoing to and um, you can load this anytime and, and play with your V drums or any other electronic kit because this remapping works with any other electronic kit and just you want that mapped instrument track to be selected when you do your playing so the MIDI notes come in through that okay and that's it that's how you do that